Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to take a closer look at exactly how the wiring is connected in our house. So when you take when you take a look at a receptacle or a light switch or something, you wonder, well, why am I seeing three wires? What does that mean? Well, here, hopefully, that will explain those questions. First of all, we're recognizing in the United States, we typically work off 120 volts, 60 hertz type of circuits. In Europe, it's 50 hertz and it's 220 volts. But here, we typically use 120 volts at 60 hertz, which is a standard for most appliances, light bulbs, computers, television, things like that, toasters, little portable heaters, all those various things work off of about 120 volts. Only the very heavy duty appliances like stoves, electric dryers require higher voltage because they require more power. We recognize that not everything is at 120 volts. Sometimes the, the voltage provided is at 110 volts, 115 volts and 117 volts, which appear as well. Now notice that on the street, we have the higher voltage lines that reach the transformers typically on each uh, region each few blocks we have a transformer that steps down the voltage from typically about 12,000 or 7200 volts down to 240 volts notice we have three wires coming out of the transformer two hot wires and a neutral typically a black wire red wire for the hot and a white wire for the neutral the step down is about 50 to 1 when we come down from 12,000 volts and 30 to 1 when we come down from 7200 volts Remember that in most other places in the world, the step down is from about 11,000 to 220 volts, which is a 50 to one step down for the rest of the world. All right, so what do we set those three wires to? Notice we have the black wire, the red wire, and we have the white wire. So these are the two hot and the neutral. The black wire is at 120 volts with a zero degree phase angle. And the red wire is 120 volts with 180 degree phase angle. So they're 180 degrees apart in phase. In other words, the red wire is at minus VB of the black wire. So notice that there's a phase difference of 180 degrees. The white wire is at zero volts at zero degrees phase angle. So what happens when you connect from red to black? Notice the potential difference will be VB minus V red, VB minus V red, which is the negative of VB, which essentially is twice VB or 240 volt at zero degrees phase angle. So the way that's then connected, since the red is at 180 degree phase angle relative to the black, when you connect from black to red, you'll end up with 240 volts at zero degree phase angle. This is what it looks like inside your house. Let's say you go from zero to 120 volts. So we only have one side of the power distribution from hot to neutral, for example. We have the black wire and we have the white neutral wire. If we have a receptacle, we run a line from the black wire to one part of the receptacle and then from the other part, we run a wire to the neutral. If you then plug something in, you connect those two via the appliance or via the light bulb so the current can run completely through from black to white. Notice we have a third wire connected to the receptacle, which is called the ground wire. The ground wire is then connected all together. Sometimes the ground wire is connected to the ground inside the house, but at the very least, the ground wire is connected to the ground from the service panel. And also notice that the neutral, the white wire, is also connected to ground so that the neutral wire is forced to zero voltage all throughout the network. So you can see then that by necessity, since the white wire is connected to ground, the white wire then forces this portion of the receptacle to zero, and the other side of the receptacle will then be at 120 volts above the zero from the white wire. And the ground wire, by necessity, since it's connected to ground and to the white neutral wire, will also then be at zero volt. Why does that ground wire need, need to be there? Well, in case that too much current flows from hot from hot to white, from hot to neutral, there's an escape route for the electricity to also go here directly to ground and to make it safer in various places in the house, there should be ground connections so that there's a quick escape for the current to the ground so that it doesn't go to the other path where it can become very dangerous, where the current can be too high, where things can begin to melt and spark and all that and people can get electrocuted. So that is the safest way in which the household circuitry can be connected and that is how it's done.